Are you ready? Okay. Here we go with chapter two, lesson number 14, parametric differentiation two, the equation of a tangent. Now, before we get into this, I want you to think back to higher maths when we were looking at the equation of a tangent. First of all, a tangent. Well, you know, a tangent is a straight line. So what we're wanting is the equation of a straight line. Ms. Amal, do you remember how to get the equation of a straight line? Yes. How do you do it then, Ms. Amal? What do you need? Gradient, point, equation. Perfect, you need the gradient. So we need the gradient of the curve at that point. We need a point itself, and then we can sub that into the equation. Y minus B equals M bracket X minus A. So how do we get the uh, gradient point equation? How do we get the gradient? What would you do, Callum? Perfect, you would take the equation of the curve and you would differentiate it. So if you differentiate the equation, that would be the first step. The whole point in differentiating is, well, you differentiate it to get the gradient of a curve at a certain point. So if we know the point, we can sub that into the differentiated equation and that will give us the gradient. So we have the gradient. Are you happy, Ms. Amel? Yes. From there then, what would you do next? So we've got the gradient... We've got the point. Excellent. You want to sub them into y minus b equals m bracket x minus a, the equation of a straight line. Why are we doing this though? What's the point in doing this? We've done it in higher. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to apply these problems to the parametric differentiation that we were doing in the last lesson. Yeah. Example one. A curve is defined by the parametric equations x equals t squared plus 1 and y equals t bracket t squared plus 1 for all t. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point with parameter t equals 2. So again, what we're thinking is we've got a curve. We are wanting to get the equation of the tangent. To get the equation of the tangent, it's a straight line. Think gradient point equation. To get the gradient, you would differentiate. So find dy by dx, and to find dy by dx, when we have parametric equations, we have to differentiate both x and y with respect to t, so dx by dt and dy by dt, and then you would use this formula here. Hello! You would use this formula, dy by dx equals dy by dt by dx by dt. So differentiate x with respect to t will give us dx by dt. And if you differentiate that, Andrew, you get 2t, you got it. And if you differentiate this, what would you do, Andrew? Good, you'd multiply it out first of all, so y equals t cubed plus t. Multiply out the brackets before you differentiate. Makes it easier. From there then, dy by dt, you're differentiating y with respect to t, and that will give you 3t squared plus 1. We can now work out dy by dx, and dy by dx is, say it with me, dy by dt by dx by dt. Say it with me again dy by dt by dx by dt. Excellent. From there, dy by dt by dx by dt. So, dy by dt is 3t squared plus 1. dx by dt is 2t. So, you'd be dividing them. So, that is our equation for dy by dt. From there, though, well, again, we're thinking it's a tangent. It's a straight line. Gradient point equation. Gradient point equation. So, we need to get the gradient. We know that the gradient dy by dx is given by 3t squared plus 1 over 2t. But we need to know what the gradient is number-wise. So to do that, well, we know t is equal to 2, so we can sub t equals 2 into that formula. So if we do that, when t equals 2, we will get 3 times 2 squared plus 1 over 2 times 2, which will give us 13 over 4. And that means the gradient of the tangent will be 13 over 4. Again, gradient point equation, gradient point equation, gradient we found, woo, well done. We need the point though. We know that t is 2, and we were just told in the question, if I go back to that, we were just told formulas for x and y. But if we know t is 2, we could sub 2 in here and find out what x would be and what y would be, and that would mean we would know the coordinate. So substitute t equals 2 into both x and y. So x will equal... Well, it's still t squared plus 1, but if you replace t with 2, you get 2 squared plus 1, which is 5. So the x-coordinate is 5. And for y, that was t bracket t squared plus 1, which will be 2 times 2 squared plus 1, which will give us 10. So you know the x-coordinate, you know the y-coordinate, so you know then that the point will be 5, 10. 
Again, gradient point equation, we've got the gradient, we've got the point, so now you can sub it into the equation. Y minus B equals M bracket X minus A. Subbing those values in then, Y minus B is Y minus 10 equals M, 13 over 4, bracket X take away 5. From there you can do this different ways, I'd probably multiply both sides by 4, so multiply both of these terms by 4, so I'd get 4Y take away 40 equals 13X take away 65 if I multiply the brackets. From there, 4y would equal 13x take away 25. Or if you move everything to one side so it's equal to 0, so you've got x and y and a number equals 0, you'd have 4y take away 13x plus 25 equals 0. And that is the equation of the tangent. We found it. Well done. Example 2. A curve is defined by the parametric equations x equals t squared plus t take away 1 and y equals 2t squared take away t plus 2 for all t. Find show that the point A, negative 1, 5, lies on the curve, and then secondly, find the equation of the tangent to the curve at point A. So the first thing we want to do, we want to show that that point lies on the curve. How would we go about doing that? Does anybody have any ideas? Joseph, what do you think? Perfect. Well, right away, we're told what x and y are. So we're told x is negative 1, and we're told y is 5. So you know at point A, negative 1, 5, x is negative 1 and y is 5. What would we do with that then, Joseph? Perfect. You would sub x equals negative 1 into this equation. So let's do that. When x equals negative 1, well, our t squared plus t take away 1 would equal x, which is negative 1. And what that means then, that we arrow means implies, so that would imply then that the t squared plus t if I add 1 to both sides, that would equal 0. So t squared plus t equals 0. But then from there, well, what you could do is, you know, if you've got t squared plus t equals 0, you could go on and solve that. So solve it by taking out a highest common factor. So take out t as a common factor. So t bracket t plus 1 would equal 0. Again, it implies that, which implies then that t is going to be either 0 or negative 1. How does that help us? Well, let's go on and look at y. We also know y is equal to 5, and we know that y is equal to 2t squared take away t plus 2. So, do the same thing again that Joseph suggested. So, when y equals 5, we would have 2t squared take away t plus 2 would equal 5. And that would imply then, if I subtract the 5 from both sides, then it would leave me with 2t squared take away t take away 3 would equal 0. And you know to solve that, Ian, you would factorise. Yes, you would factorise. Well done, Ian. So if you factorise that, you get 2t take away 3, bracket t plus 1. And that would mean then the values of t would be 3 over 2 and negative 1. We are asked to show that that point lies on the curve. How does that help us? Well, when x was negative 1, when we subbed that into the equation, then we got a formula for t, and we solved it so t was either 0 or negative 1. And when y was equal to 5, well, we subbed that in, and we got another formula for t, which we solved, and we saw that t was equal to 3 over 2 or negative 1. Notice how t equals negative 1 is an answer here, and t equals negative 1 is also an answer here. So you can say then that t equals negative 1 is a common value of the parameter. And if it's a common value of the parameter, what it means is that when t is negative 1, then x would equal, if you went the other way, so if x t was negative 1, then that would give you an x value of negative 1. And if t was equal to negative 1 here, it would give you a y value of 5, if you just reverse what we did. So that means then that that point a negative 1, 5 lies on the curve and it lies in the curve as long as there is a common parameter, which there is here. So after that, we need to think, right, well, we're also wanting to find the equation of the tangent for part B. So to get the equation of the tangent, then you need to think gradient point equation, gradient point equation. So to get the gradient, you have to, as it says here, find an expression for dy by dx. That is what x is, that is what y is, but now we need to get dy by dx. So to get dy by dx, well, you know that is dy by dt by dx by dt. So we're differentiating x and y with respect to t. Differentiate x with respect to t, it would give us dx by dt equals, and you'd have 2t plus 1. 
differentiate y with respect to t, we'd have dy by dt equals, and that would give us a 4t take away 1. dy by dx equals n dy by dt by dx by dt, so that would be 4t take away 1 over the 2t plus 1. So we have our expression for dy by dx. We want the gradient though to be a number, but we know the value of t. The value of t we found in the first part, remember t equals negative 1 is a common value of the parameter. So t equals negative 1. So we can go back to this and we can say then that we're going to sub t equals negative 1 into the derivative and that will therefore give us the gradient. Doing that when t equals negative 1, it means we will have 4 times negative 1 take away 1 over 2 times negative 1 plus 1, which will give us negative 5 over negative 1. Two negatives cancel out, and 5 divided by 1 is 5, meaning then the gradient of the tangent will be 5. From there, well, we are wanting to get the equation of the tangent. Think gradient point equation, gradient point equation. The gradient is 5. The point, though, well, you know the point... We worked that out, or we were told that in part A, we're told the point A is negative 1, 5. So we know then that the equation of the tangent is going to be y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. We know the gradient is 5, and the point is this negative 1, 5. Sub these values in, we'd have y take away 5 equals 5 bracket x plus 1, which means we would get y take away 5 is 5x plus 5, so y equals 5x plus 10. And that is going to be the equation of the tangent. Try these questions in the book. You're looking at page 42, parametric differentiation 2, the equation of a tangent. Just think gradient point equation, gradient point equation, gradient point equation, gradient point equation. Okay, you can stop thinking it now. Bye!